hi you guys welcome to the vlog my name is Anabea if you're new and if you ain't new hey girl hey thank y'all for returning so today is Sunday um I did not make it into church today but I did watch it on TV and it was really good so basically today the service was about uh basically taking care of yourself first and making sure that you're good so that you can also take care of others i'll try to leave the link down below so that y'all could check it out yourselves because it was really good today it was really good but yeah um i just wanted to introduce the vlog me and marley we're actually about to leave right now Whew. and you girls out of breath Whew. i don't know what it is so today i slept last night and then i woke up and while i'm watching church on tv i'm falling asleep like this baby just taking all my energy like i just want to sleep all the time so right after i finished watching church i went to sleep and i slept for like another what two hours it was crazy i was so tired i did not want to get up but people were calling me so i'm like let me just get up so i got up but now it's like almost five o'clock and we're just leaving the house we're going to my dad's house for a while so yeah we're about to head out Woo. oh my god y'all so we're at the greens point mall if you live in houston don't be alarmed don't be alarmed i'm just coming here to get marley some more uniforms so they actually moved the uniform store from the back of the store to the front so it's kind of like by that fitness connection just in case you're trying to come here they moved it because i'm like why the hell is the parking lot empty but yeah they moved it so we're just leaving from the uniform store. I got that girl two more pairs of uniforms. Um, yeah. So while I was up in there shopping and just thinking about certain things, it like, I don't know. I just got this almost bitter feeling or whatever. Basically, you ever just feel like you have to do everything by yourself even though you don't? have to you don't have to do everything by yourself but you kind of forced to do everything by yourself and because like nobody's there to help you you know and I feel like certain things you shouldn't have to even tell people you shouldn't have to even say anything but you do you're like okay I'm gonna just mention it and then still you get like no response or a lack of response or no urgency whatsoever. So you just say, you know what? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna just do it myself. But when it's time for me to turn up and for somebody to ask me for something when they wasn't there, oh, just know I'm gonna turn up. I hold grudges, I remember stuff. And just know, yeah, you won't, you won't, you're gonna feel the same way that I feel. Y'all, I am starting to love curly hair. You hear me? Because I ain't got to plug up no flat iron. I ain't got to make sure this hair bone straight. Just got to soak it down a little bit. And y'all, I was using my Nairobi to define these curls. But I'm like, no, this shit like what? How much you pay for this? Like fifteen dollars? No, no. So we're gonna be using this. I just love how silky this feels. Like it makes the hair feel silky. Um, I guess this pretty much does the same thing. I don't know. I never really used this one before, but I'm just like, uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna use the cheaper products on this wig. <laughs> See how it goes. And if I don't like it, then I'll just go back to, you know, that blue stuff. But y'all, I'm watching one of Gina's videos. And uh, she's telling the story about this guy that she's dating. I was dating, I guess. Because this, this one kind of old. It's like four months or whatever. And it made me think, like, I haven't really been necessarily dating anybody. I've really just been focusing on nesting. But I do have friends, or yeah, like friends, like maybe two friends or whatever. So there's this person, right? And we went from talking like here and there. 
And as of lately, and I mean lately, like this week, we started talking every day, like through text mostly. And I don't know, I found myself starting to get a little attached. See, that's my problem. I like, I love consistency. A person who is consistent, a person who is consistent has a little potential with me. Cause that's, that's, I don't know. It's like in the world of dating apps, just going out to date and regular dating, all that together, people have so many options and they're not really interested in like talking to one person all the time. So a lot of times you really don't get a lot of consistency. Like you might get it for a little while, but not often. And I just love people who know how to be consistent. But I don't want that right now. I do, but I don't. Because I'm about to have a baby, first of all. And I feel like I need to more so focus on my baby than trying to talk to somebody. And... Yeah, I just want to get those things together first. And plus, this particular person told me that they're not looking for nothing serious anyway. So they kind of contradicted themselves a little bit. They was like, I don't want nothing serious, but I'm trying to love you. So I learned from the past, listen, listen with your ears to what people tell you. When they tell you... Little things like, oh, I'm not really looking for nothing serious. Please listen to these people. I don't care what they say after that. Listen to what they say the first time. If he say he ain't really looking for nothing serious, baby, nine times out of ten, he ain't looking for nothing serious. So, yeah. So, on top of me just trying to focus on myself and my baby and what I have going on. You basically told me that you ain't looking for nothing serious, so I'm gonna go with that. I'm, I'm gonna go with that. Unless you you really prove me that you really want to be serious, like for real, for real. But other than that, yeah, but I think I'm just rambling right now. But basically, I said all that to say is like, I just love when a person could be consistent. Like, we talk every day, but then. I don't like it. Like, it makes me scared because it's like, I get attached real, real quick. I'm a lover girl, naturally. Just not even trying to play. Like, naturally, I'm a lover girl. All those things. I like to talk to one guy. That's just how I am. Now, what scares me is that a guy will start off this way because that's how my last situation was. A guy will start off as if he wants something and then I guess after he gets it or he gets a little bored or something he just not consistent no more and that's when my feelings be getting hurt because I'm just like what what so yeah I'm just like I can't even take another heartbreak like that I, can, I can't take it like I don't I don't know like I'm used to being always being in a relationship all the time. So just to be out here in these streets dating, and this is how people are dating, it's a problem. It bothers me. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. So I'm just going to focus on me. And when it's time for me to be with somebody in a relationship, I'll be that. But until then, I'm just chilling. But anyway, I was supposed to be at the mechanic since when? 9.30 and it's 9.47. Yeah, but I mean, I've dropped Marty to school. I've eaten breakfast. Um, I've taken my vitamins. Um, I put a little makeup on. Oh, Lord. This wig need to come off. Yeah, it's been over two weeks. Um, yeah, I put makeup on and did all this stuff. So, I just wanted to do something to my hair because I know I'm going to be taking this wig off either tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure. So, I just wanted to be kind of cute because once I go out, 
I really, really, really want to go get a wax, but I don't know if I'm going to do that today or tomorrow. I really have to see if my wax lady has any appointments available today anyway. I don't know, y'all. Like, at this time, I would be taking a nap. But no, my car wouldn't give me problems. So I need to be at the mechanic shop so he could do what he needs to do. And thankfully, what he needs to do is a little quick fix. So I probably really could just stay in my car while he does it. I think from what I understand, he just needs to pop uh, the little part that I was waiting on on my car. And then I could go. Like, that's it. Not nothing I need to sit around and wait for. But yeah, after that, I'm probably gonna go to my homegirl's house because I really need her to do something for me. And yeah, that should be my day. I probably I should be able to get a nap in, depending on what time I get home. Or I might nap after I get Marty from school, but my every day, I need a nap. Like, ugh, I just since the third trimester hit, I've been taking a nap every day. Every single day. I don't care how long the nap is. It's going to get taken. It's, I'm, I'm, I have to take a nap. I'm just so tired. But yeah, we'll see how today goes. Y'all, I'm so lit because I got my car started by myself. So, uh, yeah. A few vlogs back, I had trouble with my car, like not wanting to start while I was in the freaking parking garage of all places. Y'all know I'm terrified of freaking parking garages. And then it just like finally started on its own, right? So now it's like my car won't start at all unless I like go under the hood like a, a mechanic or something. And like wiggle this little wire and sometimes it works, sometimes it don't want to work. I have to do it multiple times. But yeah, I didn't think I was going to be able to get it started on my own today. Because it was like the more and more days that go by that I'm waiting on the piece so the mechanic can change it. It's giving me more problems. I can act like it don't want to start more and more. So yeah, I was able to... Hold on, what the hell? Oh, yeah, I was able to get underneath the... Well, pop the hood or whatever, we get a little wire, and it started on the second try. And I'm just like, oh my God, thank you guys so much. I felt like a bad bitch for real. Cause I'm like, girl, you just like, you just hot wired a car. That's, that's what it was giving, hot wire. But yeah, um, today is the last day, last time that I would ever have to do that because that's just, that's just, mm mm. I need to be able to get in my car and just start it from the ignition. Like, come on now, oh, seriously. But yeah, I'm headed to the mechanic right now and a shout out to Claire for showing me how to even start the freaking car to get into the mechanic. Um, yeah, the part finally came. It's a connector piece. Yeah, I ordered it from eBay. It came it, longer than Amazon. Take longer than Amazon, let me say that. But it took like what? I ordered it on Thursday, I think. And I got it yesterday so yeah however long that is i got it hopefully it's the right part he the mechanic said it's the right part so we headed to the mechanic he gonna pop that thing on for me and then i could go over my business and other than that this car runs like really good so after i get this done like i'm i should be good like don't have to worry about anything with this car anymore Except an oil change. I need an oil change. Like, really bad. Y'all, I was sitting in the car, but it's so goddamn hot. My arm probably got a whole tan. That sun was beating the hell out of my arm. But I'm just standing in the um, in the shade right quick. He's almost done. But I just can't take it no more. It's so goddamn hot. So I'm finally leaving from the mechanic shop, right? And this little piece that I've been waiting so freaking long for... He said it didn't fit. And I think it's because the wire is not long enough. Um, so he was like, next time I need my starter change, just keep that and it go switch the whole thing. So I'm just like, okay, so what I'm, what I'm supposed to do? Cause my car don't be wanting to start cause I needed this little piece. Basically.
my video cut off. But basically the little piece, this little end piece right here, kept sliding out because it was loose or whatever. So basically he put something in there, some kind of goo or something in there to prevent it from just sliding out every time um, it came for time for me to start my car. And I'm just like thinking in my head, why you ain't just do that the first time? The first time I came here, why you ain't just do that? Save me a trip. But it's okay. Like, I really can't complain because he's super duper nice. Like, he didn't even charge me anything. Like, um, hold up. Oh, girl, I thought this GPS was taking me somewhere else. But, yeah, um, wait, where the hell is this GPS taking me? Okay, okay, never mind. Girl, I couldn't figure out where the hell I was. But basically, um, yeah, I'm like, why you ain't just do this the first time? It was so hot, like, under boob sweat. I'm like, oh my God, <sighs> this is terrible. What can I do for under boob sweat? Like, what can I do? It's still hot as hell out of Houston. But anyway, yeah, I'm just like, <sighs> whatever. Because he's so nice, he's super sweet. He didn't even charge me anything today. Um. And if he would have been able to put this part on, he told me, you know, just bring the part, I'll do it for you. So he's sweet. He does my mechanic work out here. I trust him, I like him, he's cool and he's affordable. So yeah, um, as far as my car, we're good for now. Hopefully I don't have any more problems because I'm not a girl for car problems. I get irritated real fast. It's too goddamn hot to be sitting in a hot ass car with car problems. But really I just need this car to last me until I get a new car. Cause I know God about to send some huge, huge, huge blessings my way. Just, you know, waiting on a cut, waiting for my time to shine. So, yeah. Y'all, why did I got on the goddamn tow road? This was not what I was supposed to do. I'm trying to get on I-10. Why did I get on the tow road? What's going on? Oh Lord, I hope it let me get off before it charged me. Cause what? Oh my God, oh my God. Y'all, I finally made it. I finally made it. So I'm at my friend's house. She does notary. Um, What's the name of your notary? Uh, good sis budgeting. Good sis budgeting. I'ma leave her Instagram down below. She does notary in the Houston area. Um. Yeah, so if you need anything notarized or anything like that, holla at my girl. Her information will be down below. Y'all, I done made it home. So I made it home, right? I took me an hour nap. Woke up Wink and Marley. And now I'm chilling. I'm really trying to uh go out and eat or something so i'm trying to see you know what that's like i'm trying to see what that's like but until then i'm about to finish out this last pretzel y'all if y'all remember when i bought these pretzels they so damn good mm. they so damn good mm. yeah somebody take me out to eat Waiting on a response right now. Just making it home from McDonald's. Obviously, this is not the type of lunch or slash dinner that I was like hoping for. But it's cool. Um, my friend wasn't able to meet up today, so maybe another time. But I'm about to sit down and eat my little hot and spicy with my fries and watch Ozark right now. I'm on season two, episode seven. Um it's really good so far. So I watched You on Netflix. That was good. That was real good. So if you haven't watched You, I really think you should watch it. Right now I'm watching Ozark. Um, this is really good too. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna watch next. Hopefully, somebody give me a good series to watch. Cause I'm like burnt out. <coughs> I'm like burnt out on vlogs on youtube and stuff so i'm like let me go watch a series so back in my ozark and yeah so put um some good series down below if y'all know any let your girl know because i love a good series greetings everyone so as you can see i'm in my car i'm on my 
probably to go get my oil changed. And I'm so just displeased with myself because usually I look at the different routes that I could take on my GPS, but today I didn't. I just started driving like I was just ready to go. So this GPS took me all the way around. Like the GPS, especially if you live in Houston, um, it'll take you the highway instead of the back roads. Now, as I'm on the highway, I'm like, damn, it's six miles? It really just said three miles. But it's because, I don't know, it wanted me to take the long way. I guess it was like a few minutes faster. I don't care. I want to save the miles. I want to save the miles. But yeah, anyway, I'm on my way to go get my oil changed. And, um, that's why I need a man, because I've been needing my oil change. Ooh, what, baby, we over like a thousand miles. Not that bad. We not that, that bad, but um, yeah, bad enough. Bad enough to where I should have been here a thousand miles ago. But yeah, um, I don't know. Something about today, I just really, really, hold on, somebody trying to call me. Yeah, I just really wanted to get stuff done today i'm just in a good mood like i'm just i just feel so blessed and grateful and thankful for everything you know sometimes i'll be having my little moods where i'm just like overwhelmed and i just cry but today is one of them days i just feel extremely good extremely blessed and extremely motivated to get up and do stuff so um yeah as y'all can see I went back to the straight hair. I'm just a straight hair girl. Like, my head is just so big and round. And I feel like the curls, it made my head bigger. But then I like the curls because they're just so easy to maintain. They're real good for me. So, I like them. So, they will be back. But, yeah, I did my hair. Um, What else? I'm getting my oil changed. I paid my car insurance. Um, I'm going to Sam's Club. I need more paper towels, tissue. What else do I need? Goddamn light bulbs, like just random stuff that I need to get and some stuff that's is getting low. So I'm like, let me just get it while I'm out. I just love to be stocked up on stuff. I just love to feel responsible and doing my thing. It's a few more things that I need to do that I haven't done that I'm not doing today, such as a wax that I told y'all about. I just can't get myself together to go get this wax. And then, uh, what else I need to do? Um, oh, I need to fill up my gas tank. Uh, what else? Is something else I need to do? Oh, I need to get my car washed. Yeah, that's gonna make me feel better once I wash this car. And there's one other freaking thing that I need to do that I can't think of. But yeah, um, oh, I need to go get my, my toes done. Might do that. Um, I ain't even gonna lie, I'm probably not doing it this weekend. Probably gonna wait till like Monday or something to do that. Uh, I think that's about it. So, yeah, I'm about to go get my oil change right quick and we'll be back. Okay, we got two things accomplished. I just finished getting my oil change and I got it for a damn good deal. And boom, we at the gas station. I just put 20 of that 289 unleaded baby they could talk crap about the hoopty all they want but 20 dollars got me almost on full i'm like almost on full so you can say what you like but yeah so next stop i guess we're gonna do sam's club then we're gonna do walmart because um after that i need to go get marley so i'm probably just gonna spend the rest of my time in sam's club and walmart oh oh uh, crap okay I need to go to like a grocery store like Randall's or something because I need some catfish fillets because I think me and Marty are gonna do a shrimp fingers tonight. We feeling real uh, we feeling real southern tonight, so we might do some fish and grits. Yeah, I think mean, that's what mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, yeah. Hey y'all, I just made it back home. I got the girl Marley from school as well. I just been on it today, like Today I just been doing everything. So I'm gonna do a quick little haul. This haul is gonna be like real small. So I got some more cheese. We're having fish and grits tonight. And I bought this oil to fry the fish in. I'm just like on my real adult stuff today. Like I feel 
really responsible today. Like I just wanted to re-up on everything. I got my house clean and everything like that. So um, I made a little list of all the housekeeping things that I needed to restock on. Some more dish soap. This dish soap is actually really good. I would compare it to the Dawn. Um, Y'all know Dawn is a grease fighting machine. But this one is really good as well. I got some more clarifying shampoo and I got some more of this because I do need to wash Marley's hair and y'all I just used up the last little bit of this I got these disinfectant wipes and batteries I've been needing batteries for so long to the point where you gotta hold a remote like this press the button you gotta go close up to the TV press the button because the batteries just been needing to be replaced but nobody want to replace them and when i say nobody i'm talking about myself yeah so i got me some batteries y'all this is a big girl purchase who you know buy bulk toilet paper and paper towels i always get these i always get these but paper towels though y'all i will buy them little 58 cent um paper towel rolls from walmart over and over again before I bought a big pack and I finally bought the big pack and I just felt so good like I don't know doing big girl stuff today really made me feel good I do have to leave out again today because they didn't have any catfish at Walmart so I'm probably gonna go to Randall's um that's why I got my catfish from the last time I'm gonna go to Randall's um I think that's all I need to do yeah I think that's all I need to do today and then I could relax I could chill today I did all my adulting stuff earlier and I feel good. Y'all, I'm sitting here watching Gina's new vlog and my baby is doing jumping jacks, the Harlem Shake, the Eight Town Stump, uh, the Cupid Shuffle, uh, the Bunny Hop, all in my lower belly. Like, I know that <clears throat> I'm 29 weeks, I'll be 30 weeks Sunday. And even though I'm very much aware there's a baby in there, I just can't believe there's a baby in there. <laughs> like, it's so weird. Like, I'm just thinking about it like, what is this baby going to look like when she come out of me? Because my stomach is like, I don't feel like she have enough room to grow. So I'm like, is she going to be like crazy small or something? Or what? But I've seen other girls with like not a huge belly and their babies are like eight pounds so i feel like i really have nothing to worry about but i just can't wrap my mind around there's an actual baby an actual human with head body arms i mean yeah arms and legs inside of my belly i don't know i'm so weird i'm like really weird obviously there's a baby up in there i could feel her but I just can't wrap my head around it. Do y'all see what I am seeing, baby Jesus? Yes, Lord, yes. Someone told me to come to Randall's, y'all. So last time, I think I got these for like, was it five ninety nine? And I racked the hell up, so I'm about to rack up again. Cause this price is insane. Y'all, I, re I really, I really feel like I'm operating in scarcity right now because I have four packs of these already. Now the way my freezer is set up, she ain't got a lot of room left. But $4.99, wow, that's insane. So I'm thinking, should I just get four packs? Or should I get five packs? decisions i'm not the best decision well let me not speak that over myself but i just don't like making decisions let's just say that oh damn it four or five y'all four or five y'all look at how my fish came out it's giving a little bit zaw it's giving blackened it's giving maybe I had the heat on seven when it was supposed to be on six. It's giving I left it in there too long or something, so I'm going on with it. But y'all, 
Let's do a little taste test right quick. Oh, but she butter. This is really good. But, um, yeah. So dinner is done. I decided to make um some potatoes instead of grits. So this is what we're working with. So yeah, I'm about to enjoy dinner and I'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow.